Hello Leo. So happy new year. So this is the bonus reading that I'm doing for you guys for um, the predictions of 2020. So um, the spread is going to be um, what's going to go on in your love life in 2020, who's coming towards you, what blessing um, is coming towards you guys in the, in the year of 2020, and this is going to be the outcome pertaining to your love life. And also I'm doing pick a card at the end of when I'm done doing the predictions and it's going to give you more clarification of what you can expect. Okay, so let's start of what's going on in your love life. So I got the Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles, the Three of Swords as your energy. So what I'm seeing is that a lot of you guys are taking back your power. Um, you guys are really focusing on yourself, okay, especially for the first third of the year. I feel like you're really focusing on yourself, focusing on putting yourself first, okay? And then I got the Ten of Cups. I do see that you're probably going to be in a relationship towards the second, um, towards the second to third um, time frame of the year. Um, if you guys are already in a relationship, that means probably the relationship is going to um, be at its highest towards like, towards like April, May, June, July. Okay, and then I'm seeing that it's still gonna be good because for the last position before the giant energy got the six of pentacles, so I'm seeing that it's still gonna be balanced and it's going to reciprocate it. Okay, now with the three of swords being the giant energy, I feel like again you guys are really healing from the situation. Um, you guys probably already healed, and now you're experiencing the abundance. Okay, now who's coming towards you in 2020? Okay, so I got the six of swords the Four of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Two of Swords. Okay, so I'm seeing there might be two people who's coming towards you, okay? One person might be an air sign, and then one person might be an earth sign, okay? Um, I feel like with both people, um, <laughs> with both people, it's like, they it's like they made up their mind to be with you and they want to continue to invest with you okay um now for some of you guys it's just one person it could be an air or earth sign okay but i feel like this is someone who really thought long and hard and they want to be with you okay now what blessing okay so i got the lovers the ace of wands four of cups and the two of cups okay so this is very good because for this question I just made a general, okay, and it showed that it's love. So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be in a healthy, loving relationship in 2020, okay? You guys going to experience this with someone new, most likely, with the Ace of Wands. This represents the, the male principle. Um, now, with the Four of Cups, I feel like <laughs> this relationship is going to be good. It's going to be a good relationship, but I feel like you may get a little bit bored, <laughs> Okay, you may get a little bit bored because you feel like it's too good to be true, you know, and probably not used to it. Probably you're used to bullshit and drama, okay? But the card is trying to say is like, do not, don't jeopardize it because it's, like, it's, right now it's good to have no drama. Don't jeopardize it and make drama, okay? And then for the general energy, you got the two cups. So I'm definitely seeing a relationship that's going to happen for you guys. Um, this is someone who is really mature someone who's open to give and receive with you okay um i'm i'm seeing that and then some of you guys may become pregnant in the year 2020 okay i do got that and some of you guys are confused whether or not should you keep the baby okay um that's what i'm pretty much saying but i'm seeing if you do keep the baby it's gonna be a blessing okay now what's gonna be the outcome I got the Page of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Death card, and the King of Wands as general energy. So what I'm seeing is definitely there is going to be someone who's have the hot for you with the Knight of Wands being there. This most likely going to be a new person. Um, however, with the Death card, I feel like you like this person, but this person like you way more. Okay? I do see that. And there's probably going to be times where you feel like you're bored with the situation a little bit. Okay, you may feel that way, but I feel like with the cards you're trying to stay with the King of Wands, so still, still be interested. Don't give, don't give, 
don't give bare minimum when this person's giving their all basically like if you're not into that situation at all then just let this person be known that you're not into them but if this person have good characteristics and you're interested it just you feel like it's not that exciting okay just talk to this person so this person can probably make it up to you in some other type of way okay that's what i'm pretty much getting for that um so yeah what well, i'm pretty much saying i'm saying that you guys are gonna be in a really good connection some of you guys may feel like it's a little bit boring because it's everything is good but the card trying to say don't jeopardize it by making unnecessary drama <laughs> Okay, um, now for this pick a card, this is gonna be one, this is gonna be two, this is gonna be three. Okay, so I'm gonna give you about five seconds to go pick a card. Okay, so I'm gonna start with number one. Okay, so this is the cards I got for the angel answers. You got a lot of cards, okay? So I got no, it's up to you, and big happy changes, okay? So I feel like if you guys are asking a question, are you still going to be dealing with someone that you dealt with in 2019 or 2018, whatever, I feel like the card trying to say it's up to you if you want to deal with that person, but I feel like the card trying to say there's going to be someone that's going to be much better, okay? So that's what I'm pretty much getting. Now for the Romance Angel, I got Attraction and Codependency. So yeah, I feel like probably you guys are were or are in a codependent relationship. I don't feel like it's going to last so long. I feel like you're going to be attracted to someone else. And this one be like the big happy changes. And then for the Oracle Spread, I got the Power of Support and Shining Bright. So yeah, I feel like the person that you're going to be connecting with it's going to be someone who's very supportive. This is someone who's going to lit your fire, okay? This is someone who's going to take you to the next level. Because probably you guys are becoming lost in this connection. When you're in a codependent relationship, you lose yourself, okay? And I feel like you guys are coming back to your own self, okay, with the support of others. And again, I feel like that's regarding the, regarding who you're going to be connecting with in 2020. I feel like this person is going to support you. And support um, healthy habits as well. Now, the signs they might be dealing with, I got all fire. Okay, I got six of wands, eight of wands, and the five of wands. So some of you guys want to deal with a Leo or a Sagittarius. Okay, this person is going to have that in a chart, most likely as well. Um, but this is someone who's going to fight for you. They're going to give you a lot of attention and communication is going to be very key to this relationship. Um, this person is probably going to love to communicate with you. Okay. Okay, so for the people who pick number two, okay, so I got one card for the angel answers for you guys, and I got remain positive, and then for the romance angel, I got children, and then for the oracle spread, I got the flow of partnership, okay? So what I'm pretty much getting is that probably some of you guys wish to become mothers or fathers, and it's probably taking a little bit while. You may have some mishaps in the past. However, the card is trying to say remain positive is going to happen. Now, some of you guys already have children and you're kind of questioning is, is your, um, questioning about your children well-being. Are they really happy? You know, and I'm seeing that they are going to get back to a place of happiness. Okay. Now, with the flow of partnership, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to have a stronger connection with somebody already if you're in a partnership with them already. And then some of you guys, you are going to be in a strong connection with someone. This is someone who's going to be your life partner. This is someone that you may have kids with them, okay? And the signs that you might be dealing with, it's going to be an air sign. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, okay? Now, for the people who pick number three, okay? I got forgiveness and abundance, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to forgive the past, you can forgive people who hurt you from the past, and this is gonna give you a luck, like a like a stream of luck because of you letting go. Um, when you don't actually forgive, like in its entirety, you have like a baggage. Okay, it's kind of like a it's like a dead weight, 
and i feel like a lot of you guys are gonna release this dead weight okay in 2020 or before 2020 and it's gonna lead to your abundance it's gonna be your your luck okay once you let go of the situation um let go of the energy as well the energy of hurt of pain okay let it go and i also got getting to know each other so yeah i'm seeing you guys are going to connect with someone new okay now for the oracle spread i got grace and embracing change so yeah um i'm seeing yeah you guys are going to connect with someone new it's i'm getting the the same type of energy um this is someone who's going to respect you okay this is someone that you don't need to compromise, okay? Because this is someone who's actually yoked to you. And the signs they might be done with, it's going to be, okay, so it's going to be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So this, might, this person might be a Gemini, okay? It could be a Libra or Aquarius, but I'm getting Gemini because four swords can represent Gemini. So I'm seeing that you're going to connect with someone who really is going to respect you. And this is going to be a positive change for you. Um, I feel like this person might be coming from money, okay? <laughs> okay? Um, I'm seeing this person is going to really take you to the next level when it comes to your love life, okay? So that's the reading that I got for you, Leo. And happy New Year's, okay? And if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenfortheshero at gmail.com. And thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing.